friends welcome to top education this video is presented by surinder singh p so we were learning about time value of money needs we know we know what the methods we have we have completed simple interest and now we are doing <coughs> sorry guys the second method which is compound interest now let's know what is compound interest first interest is calculated on both principal and accurate interest principal amount and accurate interest so here we have the formula <coughs> write down the formula yes guys don't forget this formulas because this are the importance so future value is equal to p principal amount bracket 1 plus what is this rate of interest by n n is number of years principal amount the invested fund rate of return percentage by bank which is charged with which is given to uh, which is charged on the investment n number of interest number of years sorry number of years p r n done with the formula done with the meaning now let's move to sum Mr X manager in ABC limited invested fund of rupees 10000 in a national bank at 10% compounded per annum how much mr x will have after 3 years 10% 10000 actually guys if you get question paper you mark this amount first like by reading only so we will get to know yeah this is rate of interest this is principal amount and this is the year when we are receiving okay like guys actually what we have done in the last video if you have not seen this last video so go please see the first video and come because move in a order okay so here we had like this the formula and here we have like this so let's substitute and find the answer guys you will be having some doubts like what if they ask the both so both you have to do it here guys what happen is they have asked simple interest in the question and here they have asked compound and per annum compound per annum means use compound method only compound interest method so guys let's solve this sum quickly So guys, we have completed this formula and we have substituted this. So here, guys, for simple. Don't think too much. Okay, simple. See here. P principal amount ten thousand taken. One as it is one. R is the rate of interest ten percent. Take as it is ten percent. Then N number of years three. Ten thousand plus uh, one plus ten divided by hundred. C Ten percent we have to uh, convert into ten divided by hundred. Think this properly in your mind. Okay, done. And three as it is, ten thousand one plus zero point one. How zero point one? Ten divided by hundred will get zero point one. As it is three, ten thousand into one point one. One point one. This we are doing plus. So one point one. Three as it is, ten thousand one point three three one. How one point three three one is one point one into one point one into one point one. So we'll get one point three three one. How many times we have multiplied three times? This one point one we have multiplied multiplied three times. So we have got this answer as you see in the calci. Okay. So again, last ten thousand into one point three three one will get. One thirteen thousand three ten. This is the answer. Future value. Clear. If not, rewind and see. <laughs> okay. So next, we'll do the another sum. Invested fund is one a uh, one thousand six hundred. He will receive after three years. So one thousand six hundred. He will re receive after three years. And bank rate is ten percent. Calculate compound per annum. So let's do this also. Let's go. So guys we have completed this also and here also we have substituted as principal amount 1600 one as it is 1 plus r is rate of interest 10% and number of years 3 so as it is here also what happen is we have to convert 10% 10 
डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड ओके देन हंड्रेड टेन डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट वन प्लस विल डू वन पॉइंट वन सो हियर वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई वन पॉइंट वन इन टू वन पॉइंट वन दैट इज थ्री टाइम्स हाउ इट इज वन पॉइंट वन इन टू वन पॉइंट वन इन टू वन पॉइंट वन वन टू इज डन टू टाइम्स इज डन दिस इज थ्री थर्ड टाइम वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन सो वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन एंड वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस बोथ विल गेट दिस आंसर डन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट जस्ट रिवाइन द वीडियो फास्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव द इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक सो गाइज इन लास्ट इन लास्ट सम्स वी आर डूइंग ओनली फॉर एनुअल लिंग एज यू नो सी हियर Uh, in case of multiple compounding period or inter compounding so there are multiple compounding also person will not invest for only one year they can invest for half yearly quarterly monthly daily also so see the formula here payable yearly as it is the same formula half yearly here what we have some changes is r that will can uh, the 10% divided by 2 so 10 divided by 100 and again divided by 2 see here also we have some changes 2n uh, so quarterly 4 4n monthly 12 months are there so 12n daily how many days we have 365 see guys common yearly we don't have any numbers here yearly direct formula half yearly half yearly means 6 months 6 6 2 months so 2 like 6 is 12 so 2 quarterly is divided into four parts quarterly so 4 monthly 12 months we have actually so 12 daily we have 365 the formula also changes guys see and note down this formula because next we are doing the sum only okay so let's know the next sum an investor deposit 2000 at interest rate of 10% in bank how much will the depositor will get after 2 years after 2 years so how much is depositing 2000 for 10% for 2 years compounding should be made annually semi annually semi annually andre yesto 6 months quarterly 4 monthly 12 daily 365 calculate all of them actually this can be asked for 14 marks or for 6 marks like asking only two or three methods for three two or three formulas they can ask for six marks if they ask for full it is for 14 marks actually this have have tried for uh, uh, like uh, we have gave for exams also this types of questions so you may be also receive so let's do it quickly first wait first we'll do it annually will be coming okay we'll be doing one one by one by one okay so let's do annually guys annually i have showed here only so it's better if you give good answer so let's see we'll do it so here guys we have completed this sum and here we have got so principal amount 1 plus 10 so same thing we have done as we have done in compound interest yearly same we have done here and at last we'll multiply guys why we are doing each and every step because guys the marks will not be awarded for two or three lines actually i will show you here i have done it for this much only so they will only think they have we have done only this much and they will actually cut our marks like four okay answer sikkide aadre ella step bardilla avunu adik nan nala kodtene if you have done like this each and every step you have then six marks actually they will give why not so here you know how to do this annually semi annually or half yearly i will show you how it so here two it will come so 10 so 10 divided by 100 divided by 
as you know 0.1 divided by 2 0.05 so plus 1.05 so 2 to the 4 ange maadidini inni ennu so 101.05 into 1.05 we have to multiply for 4 we'll get this answer and again multiplying this we'll get this as you know here also for quarterly we have done this directly this we have done directly as we have took here 1 2 3 3 4 4 steps we have minus so he will not give you marks fully okay so you have to do like this steps and all then the uh, the what will be what we say invigilator or the correction of the paper will be quickly done if you do like this yes wow every step is there six marks oh my god only three steps and he have completed the sum or two more quarter ni uh, this depends upon the mood also guys okay so if you write this fully it's your best not nothing mine okay then we have done monthly also 24 12 into 2 24 so 24 we have multiplied 1.0025 for 24 times and we have got this for 365 bad okay it will not come daily they will not ask you only only this four steps they will ask you this four yearly half yearly quarterly and monthly daily no one are giving daily for you okay so guys i would like to conclude this video by saying the summary of this video fast fast okay so in this session we'll learn compound interest what is compound interest it is calculated on both principal and accurate interest this is the formula future value is equal to p principal amount one plus r rate of interest by n number of years this and one we some we have done this how we have to do is 10 percent we have to convert into 10 divided by 100 so divided by 100 will get 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 plus 1 1.1 so 1.1 we have to multiply for three times so we'll get 1.331 into 10,000 we'll get this answer as it is here also we have done same uh, three so three we have to multiply for three 1.1 three times 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 will get this answer so this and next we have done here the, the formula like in case of multiple compounding period or inter compounding they can ask for six marks also so future value so this is yearly half yearly quarterly monthly what is the difference yearly same the formula which you were using half yearly two 2 will change here quarterly 4 4 4 here also 4 there also 4 will multiply okay monthly so 12 and 12 will come here daily 365 i will i don't think this they will ask you and we have done this sum also in monthly uh, half yearly quarterly and monthly also okay so thank you guys for watching this video and please share to your friends college friends so they will also know how to do this types of sums and all so thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe our channel top education this video was presented by surendra singh p thank you guys